Hey guys, Dexter here from Dexter's Workshop. After the last video about uh, the differences between uh, integrated circuits, op amps, in overdrive pedals, I've decided to to make a, a, another video, um, a follow-up, that will uh, include some other measurements, uh, like total harmonic distortion and uh, the amount of har harmonic content uh, for each of uh, the op amps that I've used in uh, the previous video and uh, I also uh, include the measurements that uh, were uh, uh, made uh, in the in the previous video uh, I will also take uh, Mr. Uh, Robert Kelly's advice and I will uh, take down the knobs because uh, he said that the uh, the knobs were moved during during the test and uh, the the test was uh, inconclusive. So I will take down take down the knobs and also um, the pedal uh, will be uh, taped down on a on a rigid surface. So uh, the the knobs will be impossible to to be moved uh, as long as the uh, the test will uh, uh, take place. So guys. Uh, this is the pedal. I've added a, a lid of plexiglass that was taped over.
guys, uh, I had to leave the workshop and uh, I've decided to record the, the final uh, words uh, from home. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope you will find it useful in your future developments. Uh, this is Dexter from uh, Dexter's uh, workshop. I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, any questions that you may have and or you would like to comment, any comments are welcomed. I would like to thank Asaf for uh, with this occasion for all the work that uh, he uh, put into making his own uh, tests and uh, in the end uh, using the same op-amps as me confirming my uh, results in a, in a very big proportion again this is Dexter from Dexter's workshop thank you guys for watching bye bye